So the heater wires are hooked up. They're hooked up here, they're hooked up there. So that's one of the more tedious parts of the process for me always is the heater wires. So now uh, we're gonna wanna continue our um, connecting the things on the, on the actual board. So the next thing I think we should do would be the fuse. So the fuse is a very important part of the, of the process so that if anything is ever wired wrong or a tube starts going bad and drawing excessive current, it blows the fuse and it doesn't burn up components on your board. So what I usually will do as well is I will kind of bend this up just a teeny bit because getting the wire into it can be a bit of a pain if you don't do that. All right, so. Do we need to turn this back down or should we leave this up? Uh, I think it'll be easier for you to solder and do what you need to do by leaving it up. So okay. we're going to want, yes, okay. So now we get, get to do one of the, my least favorite parts of this process. We need to hook this guy in through here, but through the strain relief. And the strain relief part, I will be honest with you, I will probably want to do. You can try it if you want, but you have to have huge amounts of force I don't have that. <laughs> to flex and squeeze this thing in tightly enough to get it to pinch in and stay inside of there. All right, in the background, I've got the power transformer and the rectifier tube. We just did the heaters. We're going to hook up the five volt mat, but we're going to first do the main power section. Then we'll, oops. Then I, so I will uh, have her start with that. So first thing we need to do, we got this in. Oh, and by the way, it, you'll probably show, we're going to show you we fought that a bit. I bought a new pair of pliers that are called strain relief pliers. And if you look, they have a nice um, kind of little curved end that lets them just pinch right down on that thing and squeeze perfectly down and let, get, get it slid in. Then I could also pinch down around the power cord behind it and put, get some good pressure behind it as well, and we got it to lock in pretty quickly. I was surprised at how much easier that was. So right tool for the job, as they say, right? So next, we've got the power cord coming in, the black and the white cord. We're going to do the ground later because we need to tie multiple things, so I guess I'll touch on that. This is the ground from the uh, heaters. This is the earth ground, and we have to also take the uh, ground off of the main power supply which are not main power, but the main power tube. We want to bring that down also to the same transformer ground. So we're going to bring all those together. Now, the preamp ground, we've got that here. That's what this kind of loose wire is for for now. We'll finish that. Actually, I think we might cut it off here because we might tie it in down here. But this has still got to be soldered up, which we don't want to forget about. Um, but uh, eventually, we're going to tie all of our grounds kind of up at the end. So first, we're going to connect in our black wires and the way we do that is in theory you would just be connecting each one of those together but that's dangerous because we need a switch and we need a fuse so the white can be connected straight to one of the black leads but the other black lead needs to go to the fuse then to the switch and then into the other black lead that goes into the transformer side so we're going to first uh, I'm going to strip this for Angie because she's having a little bit of trouble stripping the wires I got a new stripper too hopefully it'll work better because I having some fun with that as well. So let's just try this out. All right, so you can go ahead and bring that into that tab there and solder it to it. This into this tab? Into this tab, yes. It technically doesn't matter which one you do. But actually, let's try and get out of the, all these other wires out of the way a little bit. There we go. So that into there. I'm setting the problem. Okay. All right, go ahead and solder that in. Get out your soldering iron and solder it in. I mean, soldering iron and soldering it in. <laughs> She's doing what I like to call the don't burn yourself dance. It's always a pain in the butt trying to get the soldering iron where you want it when you're feeling with, I also don't want to burn myself badly.
So there's that strip for you. I've made it extra long on purpose. You can just kind of stick it in from the side and we'll run it. Or actually, you might want to kind of go like this, something so that you can kind of get it underneath there for now. Adjust that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're gonna let that cool a little bit. All right, that's good. To tighten. So go ahead and kind of tighten that wire across. Figure out what length you need to get it onto that bottom part. We just don't want you don't want it like tight, tight, but you want it tucked up against the bottom and out of the way from getting close to anywhere before that will be later. For the you know. So now we just need another piece of wire from, actually we can probably just use this wire. I don't know if there's even a physical connection on that now. A what? The connection from the thing to the tab. Oh, well, we'll see I guess. And there's a very easy way to test that out. What we will do is connect uh, a connection to here, mm -hmm. and then touch the tab, not the wire, and see if we get continuity. So. So basically you touch this to here, touch this to the tab face, and we have continuity. All right, next we want to get one of these black wires that I pulled down underneath, similarly run kind of down across that bottom, and then up, and then cut to length there to stick inside of there and solder it. And you can come up from the bottom as well. 